with the Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Good morning. It's Friday, 6 in the morning. Here with Gabby, my wife again. Hi. Um, today we're going to talk about the most common safety issues in MRI and we're going to go get some Starbucks. So we're going to roll out now. No particular order, but the first one is when patients come in wearing all that jewelry and you're, you tell them a bunch of times like, hey, you know, take that jewelry off, take it off, take it off. Okay? And then you put them in the magnet and then the first thing you see on the brain is like some like big black artifact just like I'm just like what the hell are you doing you take them out and yeah they have their earrings on them um, and then if they wear a gown you know they wear a gown you can't see their chain and one time I put a guy in there and he had this big cross like super metal cross that was just like hanging and flying up in the air and he, he was just like all scared oh my god it was a Spirit of the Holy Ghost. So that's something you guys gotta look out for. The second one is like nicotine patches or medicine patches. Those are hard to see, and the ones that are not safe are the ones that are that have like the metal, the foil in the back. Um, it's hard to see. What can I say? I mean, usually we see them because they have. Uh, the gown on you can see it's usually like kind of like on their back or something like that the next one is uh we've got like bobbing pins bobbing pins and wigs um yeah or hair clips or hair accessories all that all that Most people come in you know they're just like they don't want to take off their wig for whatever reason they don't want to be embarrassed um but you can clearly see it's a wig and you're just like man it's a wig but you don't want to like offend them or sometimes in those wigs um it's a lot of like bobbing pins in the wigs and you don't want those to fly in the magnet they fly in the magnet some can go under the under the table or you think you got all of them out and the next thing you know you're just like yeah. seeing all these artifacts, artifacts. yeah mm -hmm. so and they're just stuck in there for till yeah. the GE person could come and take them out thank you for choosing Starbucks we're gonna get started for you today um yeah I'm gonna get a grande green tea soy latte we'll do a grande green tea latte what size is this uh grande I said grande, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> ice. And those made with soy. Yeah. Not early. And it's Anything gonna be iced. Um, what do you want? Oh, let me get that Irish cream cold um, brew. I haven't had Irish grande. cream in like a year. Oh. Um, what are you thinking? Let me just get a cold cold brew or something. I've got like the salted caramel cream cold brew. Are you trying to? No. Nah. Nah. What else they got? What are their cold Yeah, let me get the have? vanilla sweet. Okay. Cream. Yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. do that. Let me do that. Uh, grande with it. Anything else for you today? And can we get two chocolate cake pops? Two chocolate cake pops. And that's all. All right, let's see. Have to go ahead, Thank you. Who's eating chocolate cake pops? Not me. <laughs> all right, man. No Irish cream brew. Sucks. Whatever. Anyway. All right, let's let Gabby pay for this real quick, man. Who goes to Starbucks? Everybody in the medical field. It's your dream to just go to Starbucks and be able to afford it, huh? Yeah, that's true. You're freaking broke when you're working at like Target or something. Mm -hmm. I was drinking that like instant coffee <laughs> with the, you know, it's like powder. You yeah. just like mix it in. Drinking and that every day. If you have money, if you have money, you can go to um, 1390. You can go to uh, Jack in the Box or McDonald's. Get that McDonald's coffee? Yeah. Man, that's when you're balling. Yeah. But dude. Why not bad? How much was that? It's, nah, but Starbucks really good, man. Yeah. We don't go here every day, though. Nah. No way. Not every day. We usually make our own coffee. Yeah, it was $13. 13 not bucks. It's all good. When you're, you know. Already, here's the green tea latte. Here's the cold brew. And here are the cake pops. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Alright, man. Vanilla cream uh, cold brew, right? Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
I gotta get back to the list. Mm -hmm. But the patients that have like, they have like no idea like what's implanted in their body. They're like, oh, I have something in my brain. Oh. I don't know what it is. That's the worst patient yeah. ever. That's like emergency. Yeah. Stop what you're doing. Especially Tell when they have an appointment and they could have told you at any point, mm -hmm. but they decide to tell you mm -hmm. as you're gonna bring them into the room. Or how about the scheduler is like, oh, a patient says they have implant, but they but say it's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> it's scheduled on three T. But it's okay. <laughs> they've uh, been scanned before. They've been scanned before. Not a year, but somewhere else they've been scanned. And it turns out that scan was a CT. Dang. Yeah. It's all bad. That happens. Yeah. Oh. There's this guy, this younger guy, probably in his early 20s, he came and uh, we're gonna scan his brain. And he's like, yeah, I had a surgery before and I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know. He just said he had a surgery in his brain. Got a bad car accident. And I was like, okay. And I was like, you know what? Let's get like a, something on him, an x-ray or something. But it turns out he had a CT, but he had the CT after the MRI. Brain. So I was like, all right, let's do CT brain. Bunch of aneurysm clips, a bunch of them, like several. And um, uh, it turns out it wasn't safe because we never ended up scanning them. So that was like in the beginning. And I was the person that was like facilitating, which is just, you know, getting the patient ready for the exam. Um, yeah, man. Um, I was going to say people who want to try to come in to the zone three without being screened because sometimes if you leave the door open uh, people can wander in there or if you don't have a door for zone three people can just wander in there and that's yeah that happens sometimes when people are just trying to come in there and haven't been screened oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and once in a while they'll tell you oh yeah I have a pacemaker and you're like oh yeah you're not allowed in here Okay, well, that brings me to the story. Um, when I was working at the hospital, there was a like UPS guy, whatever, he was coming in, and we actually had the door open for zone three, mm -hmm. and he was coming in, and for some reason, you know, I was like, hey, stop, you know, you're entering, you know, magnetic field, whatever, and he's like, I was like, do you have any implants in your body? I just asked him real quick, you know, I don't, you don't have time to always just bust out with a screening form and just you know something just ask him first you know mm -hmm. and he's like yeah i have a pacemaker and yeah. there he didn't even know it was an mri area he had no idea he said oh he knew that he wasn't safe but he didn't know he was entering the area so you know after that we just we had to keep the door closed so yeah there's like a lot of common ones um like the most common one is like the patient's wearing a bra yeah. <laughs> You'll, you'll see that like all the time and it's like you never know they could you know it is metal on there they they could get burned right but yeah. more more than that is that it's messing up your images right like if you're scanning their lower back it's, you're gonna see it and it's gonna waste time you have to take them out they have to go change and you just gotta keep asking them and then some of them will say there's no metal in the bra but those little little clips it's always gonna be metal man yeah 99% yeah, of the time, like they think it's plastic. It's not plastic, it's not plastic man. So. What about the Lululemon? Oh, yeah, leggings? yeah. Yeah, so that's a newer thing. Those, yeah. And people can get burned, mm -hmm. apparently wearing those. And We've it, never had a problem. I've never seen it in person, but um, it's been reported. So. They reported, so we just follow that. You know? well, another one would be... Um, Phones in their pockets or watches, and even you know, this one's not so much of a safety issue, but cards like credit cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they just get mad at you <laughs> if, if their cards uh, get demagnetized or their hearing aids, especially. Oh, yeah, hearing like, aids. Or, yeah, we have to check everyone for hearing aids and make sure you ask them before they come in. Uh -huh. um, and anything, anything like that that's removable like um, those glucose monitors uh, people just forget about those things and they forget to take them off and you just have to remember to check that because yeah you yeah. know you know how you can miss the watches is if you 
if you don't change them and they have like a long sleeve shirt on, every time, man, they're gonna get you. They're, they're gonna be in there and they're gonna be like, oh, I have my watch on. And if it's like a Apple watch, I've we've had patients that, uh, personally, I didn't scan them, but somebody else did. They went in with a Apple watch and they said it didn't work after. And the patient can lie, you know, be like, oh, my watch broke. And they just walked into zone. Two. You know, they can just yeah. make something up, man. And they can and they're gonna win they're gonna yeah. win every time mm -hmm. patients gonna win every single time yeah. so you know just be careful and explain to them you know and they always want to bring their phone in there even just leaving it on the side i don't yeah. recommend that you even do that don't even just take the time have them lock it up so you don't have somebody calling back oh my phone doesn't work like they can make up anything man i'm telling you like yeah. and and i think one also really common um, safety issue is patients refusing to change. If they yeah. refuse to change and they do not want to change whatsoever, mm -hmm. I mean, you do have the choice to say, you know, we're sorry, but we can't scan you with what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they do refuse to change and you have to just work with it. Hopefully they're not wearing anything with metal on it yeah. or hiding anything underneath. Uh yeah the magicians i like to call them <laughs> nothing up the sleeve that's what i always tell them tell them like you know, the up the sleeve and bam freaking old timex watch from the 1980s huh? okay i had another one that i wanted to share and this is like shrapnel and Ooh. bullets yeah that type of thing people yeah. they you know to them it's not an implant so they're like well, i don't have an implant and they forget to mention that sometimes until you're about to bring them in and then they tell you, oh wait, um, <laughs> oh, wait. I have a bullet in my spine. Shh. Or they can say, um, I got metal in my eye, or I work with metal, or I got metal in my eyes. Mm. Um, metal in my eyes, yeah, and, common. And yeah, you have to be careful with that because yeah, that's um, dangerous. They have to have uh, orbit x-rays. Yes or x-rays of the body part where the bullet is if it's you know an area mm -hmm. that could be in the spinal cord delicate yeah. mm -hmm. crazy yeah, yeah. Mm. forgot about that, that one that happens yeah it actually happens pretty often depending on where like, you're at i don't know at least where we're at like once a week we get someone who's maybe once a week or once every other week right yeah someone who's had metal in their bodies from, mm -hmm. you know, working with metal or uh, bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one is more more common in like a hospital situation. Um, say you have like your patient on the table in the hospital and the patient starts, uh, I don't know, coding or, or something, okay? And the nurse is like, oh my God, I have to, you know, they're gonna wanna run in there and then maybe call another nurse that's nearby run in there. And this kind of situation has happened to me and they would run in and they would have, uh, you know, all this stuff in their pockets, the, the what is it? The shears thing, yeah. the, you know, scissors, and, uh, all, everything, random. man, random right. stuff. And I'm like, wait, hold on, you have this and that. And they just forget in the moment, you know, in the moment, you know, it's, it's emergency, so they run in. And you just gotta be on it, you know, just, hey, you know, take yourself out. Even with the, some of the, the doctors that, that, some, rarely they would come in, but sometimes they would come in, you know, or anesthesiologists, whatever, and you just have to remind them. And yeah, so that's, that's common. You guys look out for that. And the last one we're gonna share is pregnancy. Uh, we always ask patients, but it's, not something that you know patients really think about sometimes so they'll tell you sometimes like when you're screening them or when you're about to get them in the room and you ask them again and they say oh I could be or we've been trying or mm -hmm. um, or yeah you know like they have a possibility of mm -hmm. being pregnant uh -huh. and then that's when you'd say okay like you're gonna have to take a pregnancy test and come back yeah. because you know, we don't know what's going to happen. We, so far, I mean, nothing's been reported from, you know, scanning pregnant patients, but. Hard to report, probably. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's probably hard to report, hard to but, prove. I don't know. but, um, but yeah, that's one that can sneak by too because you know, or especially patients with who are on birth control and wouldn't even know that they were pregnant. There you have it. That's it. Um, yeah, thank you guys again. It really helps me out if you guys like this video. Um, of course, a lot of you watch but don't subscribe. So subscribe, tell everyone about us. And very soon, you know, I'm gonna be dropping, or we are gonna be dropping like a day in the life video. So that's in the, in the works, it's approved, it's gonna happen. And then we are also planning to do a giveaway for the 2000 subscribers, man, we did it. We did it four years ago. I was just recording in my car, you know, not even showing my face. Mm -hmm. And look, man, we've we've helped out thousands and thousands of you guys, you know, yeah. thousands of MRI techs, thousands of students, and kind of brought everyone into this community. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, man. So very exciting. Um, I, I, I thank you guys so much. Uh, all you guys are the reason I keep going, doing this channel. If no one watches or no one really comments, it's like, what's mm -hmm. the point? But everyone's loving it. Follow me on Instagram, The Real MRI Man. And that's it. We will catch you guys on the yeah. next one. Thank you very much. Thank you, Have a good day.